I have looked for an Airsoft Trace unit for quite a while now. I wanted one that wasn't too expensive, but would actually work pretty good. And if any of you have searched the market, there is no such thing. So I made my own. And you may say, well, making your own, that sounds kind of crappy and kind of expensive. But you're wrong. It cost me $15 to make this. Let's get into it. So, at first it might look a little bit ugly, having all of this stuff hanging out, but I assure you it will all fit in a PET box. The one I ordered simply has not come in yet. I have a button right here which operates it and it's quite simple. I will take the magazine out, let me press the button, and it lights up. And it is very bright. It is hop-up um, tapped, so I had to drill a hole in the hop-up unit. And I will now disassemble the entire gun and show you a little bit more in depth about it. Alright, so if you can see inside there, this is the hop up unit, and this is a 1200 lumen light. The specific light on Amazon is a 1200 lumen P60 design replacement LED bulb and it's meant for the Surefire C2, G2, Z2, 6P, G3, S3, and D2. So um, it's about $10, it's $9.99, and it is an insanely good bulb. I actually had to disassemble it. It originally looked like this. So yeah, that would not fit. Just um, a soldering iron or anything really hot, and a screwdriver, and you can get it apart pretty simply. So let's just this. This is my inner barrel and hop-up unit. As you can see, there is a hole right there. It's very simple to drill out, and you can put it on this side. Um, this side, it won't really work because you have the dials and whatnot. And then on this, I have the bulb. So I have this being run over here, and I have a 9-volt battery, which it is rated for. And then I've got a little bit of wiring going up to the um, button right here. And it is insanely bright, but it looks like I just ripped the connection loose, which really sucks. So, I'm going to basically show you what you need to make one of these. You are going to need a 9-volt battery. You are also going to need some tape. You are also going to need some wire cutters slash strippers. You are also going to need your bulb. And lastly, you're going to need some wire. Now that you have all this, you will need a couple other things, but they are not mandatory. You can use a hot glue gun or something similar to that to attach the wires to the different metal components. I um, suggest using a soldering iron, but some people do not have that readily available. So, you take your bulb, and this exact design, you don't have to use this exact bulb, but probably something with a very high luminage. You can just take that and throw it away. Then. You take your spring off of this. I should have done this before. Yes, I know. All right, there you go. Nope, not quite. There you go. All right, so now you're left with this. There are a couple um, little solder marks right here and right here. Melt those away. This whole assembly flies out. And then you melt those, peel this off, and you're stuck with just that little bar. And then you can um, keep the circuit board that's in here. I'm guessing it's just to regulate the power that goes to the light. And as I did in mine, I just taped it up and soldered it together. So, you have that. Let's move this out. You have your battery. Now, you need to put a switch somewhere in the middle of this. So, anyone that has a D or higher in mathematics slash science um, will understand how this basic electricity works. You've got a positive and a negative. That's a positive, that's a negative. Over here you have a positive and a negative as well. The red is your positive, the blue is your negative. So, once you have this apart, it will work a little bit differently, but this is considered, I believe, your negative, and the spring is your positive, and actually, you can take the battery, and it will light up just by doing that. So, that's basically the design. Um, you just take your wire, strip it, you don't want to hook it to the outside, or your negative, and then to your negative terminal on the battery, and you're going to do your switching in the positive, so, or the neutral. So, you're going to take your wire, 
link it to the pressure switch or um, lever, whatever you decide to use. You can pick anything up pretty easily at any hobby shop or on Amazon, eBay, whatever. And then you take it to your other end and hold it up to that as well. And you're done. Yes, that's it. And it works extremely well. I will soon do a firing test. Um, another thing, um, BBs. I find that the green ones actually look kind of stupid. I really like the red ones, but they all work. Um, these specific brand SRCs I have found work phenomenally compared to a couple other brands, so just to put that out there. Thank you.